Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and when McCartney and Lennon wrote All You Need Is Love, they obviously did not have 3D in mind. All right, terrible pun aside, love, you ever heard of it? Well, it is a framework for creating 2D games using the Lua programming language. It's excellent. If you have never checked it out before, I highly recommend you go ahead and do so now, because quite frankly, it is a very cool framework, a very easy way to create 2D games. And it's probably gotten more famous lately because of this, Bellatro, the everybody's current obsession, it seems. It was written using the Love framework and the Lua language. And one of the things about Love, though, is it is for making 2D games. So what happens if you want to make 3D games? Well, then you're SOL, except if you switch over to Lover. So this is obviously inspired by Love, uh, Omelette and all. Uh, so this one is a 3D framework. Basically, it takes all of the systems of Love, the 2D framework, and 3 dfies them. In fact, it also makes VR super, super, super easy. So it's designed to create VDR games, and it comes with all the stuff you need to create VR games, including like hand tracking, haptics, audio, 3D physics, and so on. It's also super lightweight. It uses Lua JIT, so it's also performant, and it's super easy as we are going to see in just a second. So in terms of the hardware support, this runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. And on top of that, pick a VR headset, it supports it, including some of them that, let's pour one out for our homies, are no longer with us. I don't think Ultra Leap's around anymore either. So Lover, we're going to go ahead and check it out right now. The thing about Lover is it is super easy. You're going to hear that as an ongoing trend here. I'm going to show you the entire process. First thing you got to do is download it. Pick your application of choice. So again, Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. This is your, I guess, development environment slash runtime. Basically, just download the zip file. Go ahead and open that folder up. And what you're going to notice here is I have a couple of other files in here, just stuff I'm going to use for demos. One is a 3D object I exported as an OBJ out from Blender. And the other one is a height map, which is literally just a 2D black and white image for doing terrain. Spoiler alert for some of the demos we're going to show. So what you do, come on in here and extract that out. So Lover is now extracted. I'm going to take these three objects. I'm going to copy them and we'll paste them into this folder as well. All right, so the key thing here is you're going to need lover.exe. And this is really all you need to create your game. Next thing we're going to do is fire up command prompt. And I'm just going to go, let's see, scale this up so you can see it. CD into my downloads folder, like so. CD into my lover folder, like so. And I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and create a file called main.lua. All right, so fire that up inside of Visual Studio Code. And now we're going to go ahead and I'll get rid of that warning. And we're going to show you a very simple hello world. By the way, all of this stuff is incredibly documented. All these examples actually come from the documentation. And I will show you that in just a second. So first things first, how do you do this? Well, to work with love and then respectively lover, you use a number of callbacks. The callback we're going to use right now is called draw. So we're going to override it, lover, draw. It takes a parameter called pass, which is the values that are passed in, and end. So there is our function. Pretty straightforward. It doesn't actually do anything yet, so let's make it do something. So pass in value, and we're going to call the function text, and then we're going to spend, show the text hello world because that is a requirement by law, and now we just give it a series of coordinates. In terms of what these coordinates actually mean, fully documented. So I'm not going to explain them here, but there you go. So there, we're basically, we're drawing the, the word text, uh, hello world, at this location, and we're doing this every call into draw. So every frame, it's going to draw this again and again. The call box are an essential part of both love and lover, and they make it, again, really easy to work with. So again, we're going to go ahead, save this guy. So there is main.lua saved. Head back on over here, and now you'll find main.lua, and just drop it on top. Boom. Hello world. That is it. That is all that is involved in creating your application. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Mike, that's 2D. I can do that in love. Okay. Not the greatest example. Let's move into 3D and show you how easy this is. Exact same callbacks. We're going to do this in the draw function. And what we're going to do this time is draw a 3D cube and we're going to animate it over time. So pass like so once again, and we'll call the cube function. And we're going to draw a cube at 0, 1.7, negative 1, and dot 5. All right. And then what we're going to do is have the, I think this would be the Y or Z axis. We're basically going to orbit. I don't know what is up, Y or Z in this framework. So, so get time. So every time or every tick, we're going to rotate around that axis. And then 0, 1, 0, line. 
So by the way, all of these all of these parameters we're passing in, they're fully explained in the documentation. We'll get back to that in just a second. So again, very straightforward, single function call basically, and inside it, we're calling this cube function. You can see we can interact with our world easily enough. Obviously, you see from the nomenclature of headset, this is designed to work with VR, but obviously it does not require VR because here we are, our updated main, drop that on top of lover, and then boom, we have a rotating cube. Super simple. So if you want to do code-focused 3D game development, I could argue that this is probably the easiest framework out there of them all. Now, let's use another example. Remember earlier on, I showed you susan.obj? Let's go ahead and load that, load that in. Now, this is actually going to show two callback functions. The first one, this gets called once, and this is called when your, your code is first loading up. If you need to load objects into your world, whatever, you do them here. So what we're doing is we're populating model with a new model of type susan.obj. That's all that is required to load a 3D object. And then here in our draw call, we set up the normal shader, and then we draw our model at these positions, again, orbiting. That's it. So that is how you load a 3D object into Lover. I head back on over here. So we got uh, main.lua, and we drop that onto love.exe, and boom, it is there. That's it. That's all you need to do to load a 3D object. Now, obviously, you're going to want to add textures to it and more uh, beyond the scope of what we're going to demonstrate today. Just be aware that functionality obviously exists. Now, let's look at one more example. This one is uh, much more complicated. This is where that height map comes in that we uh, showed earlier, that black and white image. So this is an uh, example that implements a height map. Uh, and what you can see here is it's using a local shader. The code is all written here. So if you've ever done any shader work, I think this is... GLSL here. Yeah, the difference between GLSL and HLSL, it's tricky to tell. But I think this is GLSL code. Uh, so shader code, is ha here's how you could create your own shader. Uh, and then here, lover.load, we set up a number of values such as the sky color, uh, the background color, we set it to the sky color. Uh, we load in our height map like so, and we set our shader. We load our shader from this fragment of code up here. See, shader code right there. And then we've got our draw call. Now we're having a couple other things. We're drawing some fog, a uh, height map, we're rotating our object, scale, setting the color, and so on. But that's basically it. That is the process right there. Um, pretty straightforward code. Again, it is all incredibly documented if you want to learn more about it. So let's go ahead and check this one out in action. So save it, head back on over here. Once again, you know the process. Boom, drop that in, and there is our world. And we've got... Um, Waves keys plus Q and E for navigating, left mouse button, look around in the world. And that is our 3D terrain being created using our shader code. So again, an idea of how easy it is to work with uh, 3D from code here. It, again, Love is probably among the simplest, if not the simplest 2D game frameworks out there. And I would argue that Lover is the same thing in 3D. Super simple to work with. So let's head back on over. If you want to learn more about Lover, by the way, it is available at the website lovr.org. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier on, it has exceptional docs, and I was not lying. So basically, here you can see full walkthrough of everything that's there. Now, all the examples I actually showed you are from here. So here is the Hello World, for example. Here is the 3D model loading. Uh, then we've got uh, the train was in here somewhere else. You see, you've also got code here for uh, bone-based IK animation, a number of physics examples here, 3D audio, spatialization, and so on, special effects, flat screen optimization stuff, debugging details here. There are a ton of examples to walk you through how everything works. And examples aren't all you've got. You've also got full documentation here. So here you can see that lover object we used to various different callbacks were there. There are all of the callbacks. So these are the various different things that happen in your program's life cycle, all documented, of course. So you've got things here like draw that we used. You've also got callbacks here for pressing and releasing of keys called once at load for load there. You got mouse handling stuff here. And really, you just write your code inside of these callbacks. Then you've got other ones that are super important, such as update, which is called every single frame of your game. So think of a game loop. This would be inside of your game loop. Uh, same thing. Draw this, whatever is inside of draw is what will be drawn on screen every run through the rendering frame. And then you got documentation of literally everything there, documentation of all of the callbacks. So say you're working with uh, a 3D model, full documentation, all of the methods that are explained right there. And of course, we go into one of these and all of the parameters are explained as well. So everything we looked at, all those different values we looked at, they're all fully documented here. So that is another key part, especially if you want to be very user beginner friendly. 
good documentation is a key part of it. Now, another part about Lover is it is completely open source. So this one is released under the MIT license. By the way, if you like what you see, do give them a star. People do love their stars. One thing you're going to notice, though, the last update, actually the binary version we used in this demo, was almost a full year ago. But don't let that scare you uh, because you've actually got, you know, last week last week, last week. So it is fully being updated. Uh, there are 37 active contributors on this particular project. You can see in terms of implementation, this was written 93.9% .9 in C uh, and then 1% in Lua, 4% in C++. So a very cool framework. Again, runs on a variety of operating systems, including Android, uh, has a number of different, basically if there's a VR headset out there, it supports it. Super simple to work with. Uh, again, it's this very friendly coding style. Now, the question I ultimately have for you, have you checked out Love? Have you checked out Lua? Do you like Lua? Because if you don't like Lua, Love and Lover are not for you. But if you checked out Love and you always thought to yourself, gee, I'd love to do this, but in 3D, that is exactly what Lover is all about. So hopefully you guys found that interesting. Again, super good documentation. That's always one of those really appealing things. Great tutorials to get you up and going. Things that walk you through things like how lighting and shading work, shaders, various different library functions, how you can use different plugins and so on. Great documentation for the entire project. A number of tutorials to get you up and going. So if you've been looking to do a 3D game or a 3D project, or especially if you want to create a simple VR application and you want to work at a code level, you don't need an editor like what you'd get from Unity, Godot, or Unreal Engine, I honestly go back to it. I think Lover might be the easiest to use 3D game framework out there. Let me know if you found an easier one in the comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.